Hi, uh, welcome to the mentor.com. Uh, in, in this video, we will continue with uh, the problem that we started with the last time. It, uh, it's from the exam uh, June 2011, uh, NXL IGCSE, further pure maths. Okay, again, uh, June 2011, NXL IGCSE, uh, further pure maths paper 1. And uh, this question is question number six. We finished part A. So in a previous video, now we look at part B. Before we look at it, uh, please share uh, as much as you can. Give this video a like. And uh, follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Okay. For details on the courses that we offer online, please visit us, thematcenter.com. Uh, we have courses ranging from maths, physics, accounting, and so on. Okay, great. Let's come back to this question. In part B, they tell us that the sum to n terms, okay, they tell us that the sum to n terms is bigger than or equals to 350, yeah? They give us this, yeah, they give us this. The sum to n terms is bigger than or equal to 350. And the question in part B is find the set of, okay, find the set of possible values of n again. They gave us in the question that the sum to n terms is bigger than or equals to 350 and they ask you to find the set of possible values of n. That's it. Okay. So in the first part of the question, in part A, we found d is negative 10. So let's go ahead and find a, yeah? The first term. So a plus 2d is 70. Therefore, a equals to 70 minus 2d. So let's write that out properly. d is minus 10. And from here, okay, I'll repeat, a plus 2d is 70. We worked out d as negative 10. So uh, a will be 70 minus 2d, plug in negative 10, do it slowly. Uh, what is this? 70 plus 20 is 90. Okay, so we got the value of the first term. And uh, if you hear some heavy breathing, it's my dog. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He's just joined me. So he's lying down in front here. So this, uh, so just bear with me. Yeah? It breathes quite heavily. So let's come back. D is negative 10, A is 90. So they gave me SM is bigger than or equals to 350. Okay? So what's SM? Uh, N over 2, 2 A plus N minus 1 D is bigger than or equals to 350. Do it slowly, yeah? This is an inequality. Uh, N over 2, 2A two plus N minus 1D is bigger than I go to 350. So uh, let's leave this N over 2. What is 2A? 2 times 90 is 180 plus N minus 1. What is D? Negative 10. Okay? The bigger than it goes to 350. So not, not bad, yeah? Just do it slowly. And then I have N over 2. Let's clean this up a little bit. I have a 180 here, minus 1 and minus 10 is 10. So 180 plus 10 is 190. And I have minus 10n. I'll check this in a minute. Okay. So let's see. I have uh, 180 and plus 10 is 190. That's good. Minus 10. Excellent. Yeah? So no problem. So there's a 90, 190 and uh, there's a 2 here. So let me just clean that up a little bit. I have got... Uh, uh, 95 minus 5n bigger than or equals to 350. Okay, divided by 2, divided by 2, looks good. So I'm going to move uh, this uh, solution to this side. So I don't need this part. So I have uh, 95n minus 5n squared bigger than or equals to 3. 50. Okay, 95 n minus 5. You divide by 5, right? You divide by 5, you have what? Uh, 19 n, okay, minus uh, n squared is bigger than or equals to. Divide by 5 will be 70. That's good. So now I'll have just rearranging your inequality. I'll have n squared minus 19 n moving the whole to the right hand side, okay, plus 70 will be less than or equals to 0. I tell you again, all I've done is I've just rearranged the inequality. 
move the n squared to this side, move the 19 end, and so I have 0 bigger than something, so that something will be less than 0. So now we can uh, do some vectorizing. Okay? So I have n, I have n, what is this? 19. So I have 14 n, 5. That looks good. So now I have this. Okay? For that inequality, this is 5, this is 14. Yeah? 5 and 14. So less than 0, we are looking at this part. Therefore, n lies between uh, 14 and okay, n lies between 5 and 14 and we are done okay so that's the end of the solution to this question uh, we have given the possible values of n okay so uh, uh, give this, thank you very much for watching uh, give this video a like and share as much as you can please follow me on Facebook and YouTube for details of the courses that we offer online, please visit themethyl.com. You'll find a whole range of courses in maths, accounting, and physics. Thank you.